that are loosely coupled. Yeah. And we figured that in the Amiga 1, we may as well foreshadow what I think is this inevitable trend. And uh, one more thing very quickly, I, I think, uh, but what I, would, you, is it, would it be good for things like uh, rendering and like sort of, uh, in the same way that's uh, NVIDIA Q yes. does? Yes, that right? is, um, I mean, I remember from my transfusion days, that is a class of problem that works very well and find very power left on graphics, that kind of thing. And that's obviously a, a, a big deal for Amiga and Yeah. Okay. Do you want to answer that one? <laughs> This is the top end of the machine. And compared to uh, the mass machines, the machines are much more expensive. Even our sound machines, compared to the electronics, are expensive. We're a very small market, we're very specialised, and they're very small enough compared to the tens of thousands of people. So, they're inherently expensive. Um, we, we are trying to make. I'm an enthusiast. I've said it before, I've said it several times. I would tell it break even. I, I would just put break even. Because to me, it then prolongs the Amiga legacy, which started 25 years ago. Uh, but to be honest, we've got to make sure it keeps the data drop into the system until we can look at the next one. Otherwise, it's dead here. Um, it doesn't really answer the question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. It's going to be north on uh, 1500 pounds. It can't be any cheaper. Well, we've, what we've got is um, we've got a revision, a revision 2. Uh, this is the revision 4 board, what you see here. We've got a revision 2 design, and we'll make time about that.